Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Clay Ramage and we're back again today with another video. Um, I've got a small haul video that uh, from a trip to the Goodwill store. Then I also am just going to throw in some um, footage that I took when we were down in Florida last week. Um, so we did some fun things on that and I thought I'd just throw it on at the end of this video so that we have something to fill it out. But anyway, let's just get right into it. I um, um, found several pieces of pottery on this latest trip. This is a vase or pot of some sort uh, with the drip glaze on top. This is a RRP company from Roseville uh, and uh, Roseville, Ohio. These are made in the U.S. These are fairly common. I just like the colors of this particular thing, this particular um pot and um so yeah so i picked it up uh paid like three dollars for that <clears throat> then i found this goblet i just loved one the color it's this beautiful earthy reddish brown with some bluish in it and then the form is another great shape with the goblet on top the handle towards the base um somebody used it for for display item because it's really dusty on the inside they never dusted it and there's the bottom. There is a signature on the bottom, but it's very hard to read because of the the um, shiny glaze that they used in here. The light reflects off of it, and it's a like a written signature, so it's really hard to read. So I'm trying to figure out what it could be, but I haven't figured that out yet. <clears throat> so hopefully we'll figure that out soon. And then I got a little teapot set. This is the little teapot with a little lid on top. It does have some, um, oh, I forgot the name of it, when it starts leaching through a little salt, salty kind of stuff. Anyway, um, so there's the little teapot. There's this little bowl, which I assume is like for a creamer. It's got the little pour there. All of these pieces are marked, by the way. And we'll get to that in a second. And then I got four of these little teacups. Um, so yeah, just small, very cute. There is one that has a chip right there. Other than that, they're all in um, great condition, with the exception of, like I say, the lid that's got that effer effervescence or something like that. Um, and so yeah, so I'm still researching the, the pottery pieces um, to find out who this is. This is the signature again and then it's on the bottom of the pot a little clearer doesn't have any clays on it but it's very hard to read it's like a jh line so it's kind of like a signing and then there's something underneath that which i think is like an my or mx can't really say for sure but anyway i haven't been able to find anything on a brief look that i had then i had something else that i we i apparently left in the uh car when I went to the bins, I picked this up at the bins last time I was there. These are Christmas candles, vintage candles. Doesn't say a year on them. <clears throat> but just from the box, they're probably, I would say probably 80-ish. Um, but yeah, they're taper candles. And then a wax figure on each one. There's a cardinal. There's one with a pine cone and one with a snowman. And there's two of each candle in here. So... Again, I thought they were really cute. Um, because they're vintage, I think they'll sell well. Probably put them down at the Pink Elephant store for for uh, sale as opposed to hopping them on eBay. Anyway, that was our haul. And uh, thank you guys for all new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing and joining us on our fun adventures that we have. Looking for um, different items that we can either resell, gift to other people, or... Uh, just keep ourselves. But uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do that. And uh, now we'll get into the Florida footage. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, this first part of our trip, this is actually at what was called the Gopher Turtle Park. And it's a little refuge for um, what this turtle, or tortoise, actually, um, that was called the gopher tortoise, and he actually digs in the sand 
Uh, he, there's a picture of him up to the top. I kind of missed him in my video a little bit. Here he is again. And so they actually dig tunnels like gophers. That's why they're called the gopher tunnel. Now we're switching over to, this is the ocean. Uh, one day we went over to the Kennedy Space Center and we stopped by Coco Beach first before we went to uh, the Kennedy Space Center. And here we are at the Everglades. This is the Everglades snail kite. It's actually a, a pretty endangered species. They said there's only like 75 of them in the whole U.S., uh, all of them in the Everglades. Uh, they're more common down in South America, but up here in North America, they're very rare. So it was exciting to see those. And then this was our swamp boat tour as we we're going around trying looking for alligators. Um, and we did see, here's one. You can just see her nest there and her head poking up to the right of the nest. Here we are cruising across the uh, Everglades. And there's, you can see all the dragonflies in that one. Sorry, I'm going quick here, aren't I? But I just mm -hmm. shot clips as we were going along. This was just a cool trail we were walking on at one point. These are some weird plants growing, almost like, not a fungus, but kind of like that. And this cool pink tree trunk. While we were there, we stopped by a thrift store and they just had huge bins full of DVDs and CDs. These are some of the shelves that they had. And honestly, there was not that good a quality of stuff here at this thrift store. And I didn't do a very good job of showing what I was picking up. I was showing you things I wasn't picking up and looking at. Still learning this whole process of videoing and looking at stuff at the same time. It's, uh, oh, I'm a one talent guy. I only do one thing at a time well, and sometimes not even that well. So anyway, um, so I was just looking at different things on the shelves, little tchotchkes. Again, I found one thing a Pyrex um, sugar container, uh, you know, from the 19, probably 1970-ish circa, uh, the wood grain top. Um, so that was a $2, so I bought that and listed it in my eBay store. 